Mr. Harland. Oh. Oh my god, I'm too old for this. Oh. Yes, youth potion. I drink it. I drink it now. Ooh, that's better. <coughs> oh shit, that's a little, that's a little old. <coughs> oh, oh, some old shit there. Ooh, excuse me for that. Oh, ah, campfire. It's a little cold. Let me look at the snow around me. Oh. <coughs> oh, shit. Mm. Anyways. Sorry, I've been away for a while. I've been busy with stuff, especially work. But uh, this time, there will be two videos next one next Monday and the other ones except for in June I'll be in California love oh excuse me for one second <coughs> god damn someone's gonna be like Mr. Harland you shouldn't drink a youth potion that's that old you dumbass well I didn't know it was old so shh 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 Anyways, there are some robbers out there. Oh shit, I just found about. Oh, this series will be fun. All of them end with bandit. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, but today, this one, since I'll be going to California in June. For a nice, lovely vacation. Oh, and I'll be sure to post videos of what I see. Oh, it'll be fun. Well, this one committed a lot of bank robberies. They call him the Geezer Bandit. And it is the name given by the FBI to a man who committed a series of bank robberies in Southern California. The Geezer Bandit is accused of robbing at least 16 banks so far, many in the San Diego, California area. His last known robbery occurred on Friday, December 2nd, 2011. He's still at large. He's an American occupation bank robber, known for bank robbery. His height has <clears throat> been reported to be at least between six foot inches and five foot 10. There's a reward out there, currently still, for $20,000. And he's still a fugitive. He's still on the run. And the FBI really wants him. And he's been wanted since 2009. The FBI, as the investigation goes, still ongoing today, but so far it looks like it's a cold case. The FBI's field offices in california worked with local law enforcement at the time to solve the serial robberies in southern california the geezer bandit was listed in america's most wanted in october 2010 on february 5th 2011 john walsh highlighted the geezer bandit on america's most wanted the reward was up to twenty thousand dollars to provide information leading to the arrest and conviction of the geezer bandit but that hasn't happened at all <clears throat> the geezer bandit is suspected to be a white male between the ages of 60 and 70 years old and is between 5'10 and 6 foot between 190 and 200 pounds with an average build and judging from footage and eyewitness accounts he is left handed of course everybody's got to know the modus operandi La 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 la. Don't know why I just did that. The geezer bandit comes into the bank like a normal customer, approaching the teller with a leather case and then draws a revolver from the case and demands money from the teller by handing the teller a note. 
A teller who was one of the 13 people to have direct contact with the geezer bandit stated on America's Most Wanted that she was given a note that read, Give me 50,000 or I'll murder you. <clears throat> but throughout each robbery, he was given the money he wanted. The man appears to be in his mid to late 70s. Here's some of the theories. The man appears to be, yeah, in his late 70s. However, some members of law enforcement have stated their beliefs that he may not be an elderly man. One theory is that the man is disguised and is using a silicone mask. The string of robberies started in August of 2009 in San Diego, California. The FBI has started to question makers of special effects. Fesks. <clears throat> God damn you. Effects masks to, yeah, to get insight into the geezer bandit robberies. This comes in part after a white male in Ohio pleaded guilty to robbing banks in a mask that made him look like a black male. Interest in realistic theoretic... I just bit my tongue there. Mm, that, that fucking hurt. Theatrical. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to put some ice on that afterwards. Oh. <clears throat> theatrical, theatrical disguise also increased after a young East Asian man was able to board plane from Hong Kong to Canada wearing the mask of an elderly white male. John Walsh, host of America's Most Wanted, believes the geezer bandit is actually a young person in disguise due to surveillance footage of his latest robbery, which showed him running abnormally fast for an elderly person after a dye pack exploded in the bunny bag he had. The robberies. The first one was at U.S. Bank on August 28, 2009 in Santee, California. The second one was in San Diego National Bank on September 12, 2009 in San Diego, California. Number two was at another U.S. bank in San Diego on October 9th, 2009, Bank of America in Rancho Santa Fe, California was hit on October 26, 2009. Bank of America was hit in San Diego, California on November 16th, 2009 in San Diego, California. San Diego National Bank was hit in San Diego, California on January 27, 2010. California Bank and Trust. That sounds fancy. We don't have any of those in Missouri. Huh. On April 20th, 2010 in Vista, California. U.S. Bank on April 30th, 2010 in Vista, California. Jeez. Bank of America on May the 11, 2010 in Santee, California, California. Wow, talk about go back to where we all started from. Um, do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I'm such a horrible person for doing that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah Santee, California. Uh, yeah. U.S. Bank on June 7th, 2010 in Pon Poway, California. Bank of America on June 25th, 2010, Temecula, California. Bank of America was hit on November 12th, 2010 in Bakersfield, California. Jesus. <clears throat> Bank of America on January 28, 2011 in Goleta, California. Wow, that got hit too. Heritage Oaks Bank on May, 7th, May 27, 2011 in Morro Bay, California. Jesus. There's two more banks. Wells Fargo on September 30th, 2011, Siendo. San Diego, California. Jesus Christ. San Diego, California. Yep. And then the last one. 
Bank of America on December 2nd, 2011 in San Luis Obispo, California. That's bank number 16. <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, I, even I'm starting to believe it's a young person. It would have to be. No one could have that kind of stamina. Unless it is an old person, but we'll never know. As in my eyes, this guy's most likely dead. If it truly is an old person, and yeah. Those kids are going to have a nice amount of money for their, uh, whatever they inherit. So, yeah. Good luck with them, if, assuming he has grandkids in the first place. In January of 2011, Geezer Bandit was profiled uh, on America's Most Wanted and San Diego's Most Wanted, but has never been apprehended nor caught. There was an apparent copycat of the Geezer Bandit who made an appearance in an attempt to replicate the robbery tactic. In an attempt to pull off a robbery, the fake Geezer Bandit was not careful in his getaway and ended up in police custody. The police do not believe he is the real Geezer Bandit. Because, uh... Yeah. The real one wouldn't have been caught. And he hasn't been yet. But, I, like I said, I, I believe this guy is... If it really is an old man, he's probably dead by now. There was this whole thing called COVID, you see. Probably killed him, and like I said, if he has grandkids, they inherited that money. So, who knows. Fan base. Yeah, of course these people have to have a fan base. Oh my god. Gee. If it ain't a bunch of teenage girls following around that one dude who's... Now likely, well, he is in his 30s now, uh, early 30s. The one they call Colton Harris Moore, known as the Barefoot Bandit. And if it ain't a bunch of once teenage girls who followed his ass around on Twitter when they were teenage girls who are likely still going, Mmm, where's that handsome boy? Yeah, I have no doubt there are people who want to get with Grandpa when it comes to the dude they call Geezer Bandit. And of course there are Facebook pages. Yes. The Geezer Bandit has a following that has started several Facebook pages showing support for him and his crime spree. Several news media outlets have reported that many people are trying to capitalize on the fan draw of the Geezer Bandit by making the Geezer Bandit t-shirts and printed with a picture of the Fallon from surveillance images of his robberies. And on February 5th, 2011, episode of America's Most Wanted, one fan made t-shirt read, Geezer Bandit is my name and getting away is my game. Now that's a interesting t-shirt. I'd like to buy one if, uh, if they're still making them. I'd like to have one. I'd like to have a nice t-shirt collection. and uh, Yeah, that, that'd be cool. But if there's anything Grandpa can't escape, it's a 60 Maglite to the head. Don't know why anyone thought of that. Uh, or, well, didn't think of that as he was trying to run out the door. Because the gun ain't going to be pointed at you. It's going to be likely aiming out the front door. You just walk up to him and... Pop his ass in the head. Then again, like I said, no one thought of it at the time. If it was me, I'd be doing it. But, uh, no, this person has not been caught since. And I'm going to tell you right now, I believe he's dead. But it looks like these robberies did inspire another person called the Granddad Bandit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, fucking A, people. Fucking A. Uh, granddad Bandit. What the hell? That'll be in next video. But uh, that'll be it for today's video. I have missed you all. Before any of you say anything, I missed you all a lot. And I've been busy, but other than that... <coughs> oh, shit. That'll be it for video number one. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you liked today's videos, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching today. And uh, uh, since the Blues are out of the uh, uh, playoffs because they fucking suck. Yeah, I had to do that. Uh, let's go Cardinals. Let's see what they can do this year. Oh, wow. Superstar!